We're gonna go live on the radio in just a minute. I thought about doing something a little bit different for a vlog. Uh, it's just a little update on me, still the same kind of thing, but I'm also gonna be doing it live on air because I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, how I'm doing. And I know I haven't been doing enough to update the website. Uh, so, you know, <laughs> this is a step to try and rectify that. Also, podcast's gonna start soon. I know I've been saying that for a while now, but uh, I really wanna start to kick that in gear. I got some amazing imaging uh, from my buddy uh, Stefano. So I'm really looking forward to getting that into some actual audio format. So that will be coming soon. TM. <laughs> Anyways, enjoy. It's the Drive Home Show with Cody B. Today's best music, KISS 100.5. Yesterday was Valentine's Day, and as, I, as we were going out and about in the city, doing our singing kiss I was getting asked a lot of the same questions. How you doing since the surgery? If you're unfamiliar with uh, my situation, back in November, I had bariatric surgery uh, to get my weight under control, uh, get my life back on a, uh, a healthy path. So that's kind of what I've been dealing with, more or less. And uh, a number of people have been asking me, uh, you know, when they bump into me at the grocery store or when we do something like yesterday's kissing, uh, singing kissograms, you know, how are things going? So I figured, you know, I'd bring it to air. And I know it's not for everybody, so we're going to get through it real quick, and then we'll get back into the music. I promise you that, all right? So uh, just quick overcap. At my highest, my highest weight, I was 610 pounds. As of this week, I got back on the scale... 482 pounds. So that is down 128 pounds total. Or to put it more into a, uh, a something that you can visualize number, imagine 300 hamsters. I've lost, I've lost that much weight. 300 hamsters. I know. <laughs> Maybe not helpful, but I, I like to quantify it like that. <laughs> also, something kind of interesting this week was I was sick for the first time since having my surgery. Which was kind of interesting, because there's certain things that you can't do after having the surgery. Um, like medication. Medication is very different after the surgery. Uh, NSAID medication, which is a type of anti-inflammatory medication, which is in a lot of stuff. You don't really realize it until I started going through my medicine cabinet, and I'm like, oh, uh, Advil? Can't have that anymore. Uh, Pepto-Bismol? Nope, can't have that. And I'm going through all these medications that I have always stocked up for any time I might get sick. And I had to, you know, I'm going to give it away, more or less. I couldn't use it. Luckily, I'm only a couple of blocks away from a pharmacy, so I was able to go for a quick walk, power through it, stock up on medication that I can take, get back to my apartment, and weather out my man-cold flu bug that I had this week. So yeah, that's, that's more or less it. I just wanted to give you a quick little update, because a lot of people have been asking me about it. And certainly, uh, I was talking with uh, Yvette and Dan and Mel last night, uh, just some people I met, and... You know, there's, there's like this stigma attached to weight. And you know what? I, that's one of the reasons I decided to bring this to air. It's because I'm just trying to battle through that stigma. We all struggle with body issues in one way or another. For myself, it is my weight. And, you know, if I can bring that to light a little bit, bring that to air, then I'm happy. And you know what? If you do see me out and about at the grocery store or when we're going out and doing our next singing kiss grams and you want to ask me how things are going, you want to get into the nitty-gritty... By all means, hit me up. I'm always here for that. I'd love to talk to you. That's how we do.